I was thinking about what I wanted to build and I realized that I've never done a family home build on my channel before, which is crazy because everybody does those. So yeah, I sat down and I had a family in mind and I just built a house. It is heavily inspired on the homes in California. Uh, it's very what I'm used to. I think it might be one of my best builds yet. <laughs> but welcome guys, I'm Savannah if you are new here. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my life while we watch the speed build of this house. I'll be talking about life lately, what I've been up to, my future plans, uh, and we're just gonna sit back and relax and watch this uh, family home speed build. I built it in Oasis Springs. It is three bedrooms. It has a huge master suite and two bedrooms upstairs for two toddlers and one child or teen. I guess it could be either. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's just get into it, shall we? Okay, so I picked this lot in Oasis Springs. It's called Yuma Heights. I really like it because it already has like some landscaping on the sides. Really nice landscaping actually. I think those things are in debug. I should use those more in my builds. But yeah, um, it's going to be this little L-shaped house. We're gonna be putting in some garages uh, and doing some terrain paint before we head on inside. But yeah, my inspiration for this house was very like, like California, like a lot of the houses that I'm used to seeing in California of really, really wealthy families. <laughs> um, I love the color palette of the house. Um, orange and black, like it feels a little Halloween-y, but it doesn't look Halloween-y in the end. So I think it worked out pretty nice. I did use CC in this build, just a heads up. So if you guys do wanna download it, um, there might be some stuff missing, but I use a lot of Harry and Felix Andre and Pierre Sim and uh, Ravishin and I feel like there was one more major like CC creator that I use for build stuff. Peacemaker? Is that what I'm thinking of? Probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, so life has been so insanely crazy lately. As you guys know, I moved to Colorado. It's been a year already since I have been here. Uh, we moved into our first house and we lived there for six months. Our lease was for six months and um, at the end of our lease, we decided to move somewhere else, which is the house that we're in now. I absolutely love this house. I <laughs> I love my office, um, but yeah, life happened, and um, we're actually going to be moving back to California in less than two weeks, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Um, I already started packing up my office. My shelf back there is pretty empty. Everything in front of me is pretty empty, but my setup's gonna be the last thing that I, uh, that I pack so that I can still make content up until the day we go. Um, it's just, we really wanna stay here. We love this house so much. We love the area. Um, just everything about it's really great. And I just love having snow during the winter as well. But, you know, it was kind of, it was extremely unexpected and it was not the plan, but that's just life, I guess. Um, we weighed the pros and cons about staying or going back because um, we did have like an opportunity that we really couldn't pass up. So yeah, we weighed the pros and cons and the only pro <laughs> for staying here was this house and this area and um, also not having to move again. Holy crap, that was like number one. When we moved into this house six months ago, I told myself that I didn't wanna move for a really long time because I'm just so tired of moving. I've moved like six or seven times within the past couple of years and I'm just so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Like you guys are probably thinking like, Sav, you're absolutely crazy. Why are you moving again? And I wish I had an answer for you, but the only answer that I have that makes sense is that life is life and it's unexpected and I'm just taking things you know as an experience um, oh quick quick thing about this build I did a very interesting living room layout this time I was researching living room layouts and I saw this one where they had two couches like back to back one part of the living room was like the entertainment space and the other part was like a formal seating area those are usually in two different rooms, but I was like, why can't they just be in one room? 
and it ended up looking so good you guys will see I changed a lot of stuff I changed the colors I changed the rug like I changed a lot of stuff I'm kind of just working on like the uh, floor plan like where I want to place everything right now but yeah we do end up changing a lot of stuff later but uh, I hope that you guys like this living room layout I've never done anything like this before but uh, I'm stoked I'm stoked to do something new so we have this like bonus office off the living room as well it's quite small but it's pretty cute um so yeah i uh <laughs> i am moving again um i already told you guys on twitch so some of you guys already know but yeah um i'm really excited to be back with my family uh i realized that you could live in like the most beautiful place and just really enjoy the area that you're in but it doesn't mean anything if you don't have friends or family to share it with and I realized that after being here for a year. But don't get me wrong, the year that we had here was great. It was a lovely experience. Um, I wouldn't change it for anything. <laughs> like I never thought I would move out of California, but I did it. I, I proved to myself that I can actually do it, which is good. Something to, you know, talk about. Uh, just experiencing another state's like culture and people and food and all that stuff. But I'm realizing that I'm just a California girl at heart and nothing is really gonna change that. I miss the beach so much. The last time that I went back to Cali for Father's Day, when I got off the plane, the smell of the salt and the ocean just slapped me in the face. Like it was so unbelievably strong because I'm not used to it anymore. And I was like, oh my God, no, I'm like losing, I'm losing it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to be able to go to the beach again. Like being landlocked, I don't know if it's for me, but <laughs> yeah. Um, mm, what else has been going on with me? I was in a pretty low place for a while there. Um, like when we moved here, I was in a low place. That was like part of the reason why I wanted to move here was to see if like maybe changing my environment, my surroundings would help. Um, and like I, I changed my environment, my surroundings, but then I got like incredibly lonely and homesick and I miss my family and I miss my friends. So it was like I just replaced one bad thing with another, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, um, what else? Oh, right, so like I recently, this past month, I've changed my diet and my habits pretty uh, aggressively. Um, I, uh, I detoxed myself off of sugar, which was pretty, pretty insane. The with withdrawals were no joke because I was consuming a lot of sugar every day. And so I started with like no added sugars and then I eventually like I don't eat as much fruit as I used to. I know that fruit's like not bad for you, but it does have a lot of sugar in it. So I try to like uh, like limit my fruit intake as well. But yeah, that has helped me feel a lot better along with exercising. It's like I know that my diet and exercise are so linked to my mood and just how I feel throughout the day. So yeah, I uh, changed both of those things. I started moving every single day and I changed my diet and I do feel a lot better. I always know like how to fix what's wrong with me. It's just like that first step of changing your habits. It's so freaking hard. Once you do it and you form a new habit, it gets so much easier. Um, but yeah, uh, so as you can see, we've got this like double toddler room. We got that super colorful kids bedroom or teen bedroom. Each of the bedrooms have a bathroom, which is nice. And then in the hallway, I end up adding like a little sectioned off play area where all of their, uh, excuse me, all of their toys are housed. Um, I really wanted this house to be I really wanted it to be like perfect, no clutter, just like how I normally build. And I really stepped out of my comfort zone with this one. I cluttered it a lot, as you will see in the end. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I do use CC, like these counters are CC, the shower heads are CC, the shower like glass dividers are CC, um, the couches, the counters in the kitchen. <laughs> 
Um, I just wanted to like freely build instead of restricting myself to no CC, you know? So yeah, but the, but the outside of the house, the windows, the paint, um, the landscaping, all of that jazz is not. So if you guys just want to place this house as like a shell, you totally can. I'm actually obsessed with how the um, outside came out. Backyard too. Um, yeah, this is quite a hefty build. <laughs> we have 20 minutes left and I feel like I've already told you guys about my entire life so far. Um, but yeah, this is the play area that I was telling you guys about. I thought it was cool, cool with the little half wall dividing it. We had like a huge hallway space up here, so I needed to figure out a way to like fill that up. Um, I'm so excited for the new pack. Um, I think it's called Love Struck, but it's the new expansion pack that's coming out on July 25th. It is like romance and woohoo themed. You guys should go watch the trailer. It dropped yesterday i believe but it looks so awesome i cannot wait um i don't think it's really a pack that you can do like a let's play on but i will be incorporating all of the aspects into my uh legacy challenge <laughs> um but yeah the toddler room it's pretty bare in there just because all of the toys are in the hallway all they really needed was like a bookshelf beds a dresser a place to sit uh, nothing too crazy in there, but I do like the color palette. And, uh, yeah, I'm just filling up the space, filling up everything, just trying to make it look less bare. I do have that issue of leaving things, like, kind of bare, but I think that's just my Virgo personality of everything being <laughs> neat and clean and <laughs> not cluttered at all. Um, but yeah um so i the way that i built this house is i kind of just like placed everything and then i went back and i do the cluttering after does anyone else build like that or do you like complete a room completely and then move on to the next one after that i have such a bad habit of bouncing around like <laughs> i just get I get bored of a room and I'm just like, or I get like uninspired or I don't even know what to call it, but I just am like, ah, I'm gonna move on to the, another room. Maybe I'll have better luck there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, tons of clutter. I end up moving those shelves later and adding windows there. And then we end up changing the dining room table as well. Um, so we leave, we're driving back to Cali. It's like a 17 hour drive. We're driving the U-Haul. And uh, yeah, I, uh, let's see, what day is it? It's the 28th right now. And we're planning on packing everything on the 5th. And then like making sure everything's packed by the 5th, loading the truck on the 6th, and then leaving on the 7th. So I'm going to try to like film and edit a bunch of videos um, leading up to that so that I can still upload while I'm gone uh, because, you know, like it'll take us probably two days to get back to California and then unpacking everything will probably take another couple of days. My stream setup is always the first thing that I unpack other than the kitchen because <laughs> I want to like get back to work as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, so if I like, I might have to film a couple of legacy videos like back to back without getting your guys' comments or opinions on any of it, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. It's better than not having videos, am I right? <laughs> um, but I am excited to uh, decorate another office. I, after doing this one, I, I absolutely loved it. Like I was so satisfied with it. But it's always nice to have a fresh canvas and like change the things that I wanted to change after I finish this one, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and uh, I do want to like buy a couple of like new things for my setup as well. I just want to perfect it. I want it to be pristine. I want the audio to be pristine. I want everything to be perfect. So yeah, it's always really, really fun like setting everything up and you know, just having a fresh new space so yeah also I know that there's a huge summer sale going on for the packs 
Um, I'm uh, in the process of setting up my little affiliate code for that. So if you guys buy any packs and use the code SINSAV, uh, it really helps me out and supports me as a creator. I think it's really cool that they, they did that. They're allowing um, creators to, you know, get a little, little cut, a little slice of the profits. <laughs> <laughs> oh right so as you can see i like changed the colors in the living room kind of i changed the rug and then that inspired me for the color palette for the rest of the living room just cluttering it up making these little toy baskets because i do did want it to be a family home and i wanted it to reflect that a little bit but this living room came out so cozy this color palette like maroon and light blue is not something that i normally do it was it was tricky, but it ended up turning out so beautiful. Like it looks so cozy in here. And um, uh, oh shoot, what was I gonna say? I really like this layout as well. It's a good idea if you've got like a super huge living room. Cause half the time I never know how to like fill up a huge living room. And I'm not even gonna lie, this build took me seven hours, dude. Seven hours, cause I wanted it to be perfect. So I spent a lot of time switching everything around, deciding how I wanted it to look and all that. So here's where we changed the dining room. I ended up using these uh, big armchairs as the dining chairs. I think it just makes it look so cozy and it definitely like fills up the dining room. Like it just, it felt right. <laughs> I would love to have armchairs at my dining table. Like how comfy, I'd never want to get up. But yeah, we ended up moving the shelves over to that, that weird little wall where the staircase is. And I think it looks so much better there. And then we added windows where it, where it used to be. Cause yeah, I felt like the dining room needed windows. It just had the door. Um, I ended up putting cushions on the chairs as well to make it even more comfy cozy. And a lot of these plants that I'm using are CC. I just, CC plants are unmatched, you guys. They're so good. They are so good. Um, when I was putting the pillows on these chairs, I had to like, because the pillows kept slotting to the dining table and it was really annoying. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna fill up all the slots on the dining table with something so that the, the pillows can't snap onto it. And I was able to put the cushions on the chairs. And I actually like, it actually worked like if you're having trouble placing something like alt placing something and it just see the boxes yeah and it just like keeps snapping to something else just put something in that slot that it keeps snapping to and you should be able to like put it where you want but yeah these cushions and those plants it's just giving like i don't know how to explain it did i capture the california vibe well I feel like I did. I feel like very at home here. <laughs> it feels familiar. I don't know how to explain it. I did not grow up in a house like this at all. Um, but it just feels, it feels familiar. And I love these little bags hanging on the wall. Just so cute. I tried to like, just make it look really lived in, you know, aprons and pots and fruit bowls and plants and coffee cups and books and blah 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 <laughs> keys um and i tried to like leave little traces of kids throughout the house as well without making it obvious like like the little stuffed teddy bears and the owl backpack and yeah i tried to put a lot of uh skills in here as well so we've got chess there's board games um there is a pool in the back that you'll see in a minute what else did i put in here computer huh i can't remember if i ended up putting the nectar maker in the backyard or not but yeah here i am just changing the swatches in the kitchen just to make it feel more warm and cozy we have to have the bread basket of course <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love that coffee maker from the, the Cozy Bistro kit. It's so good. It is so, so good. Um, but I'm just filling up like every little inch or trying to with something, you know? I just wanted it to feel lived in. I had a lot of fun building this though. It was, uh, 
it, I was just like, you know, the, if you're a builder and you just, you're just on a roll, like you're just really feeling it. That's how I was with this house. I, I kind of never wanted it to end, but once I finished the landscaping in the front, I was like, oh no, it's done. Now what? <laughs> the only room that I didn't clutter to absolute crap is, I don't know if that's the right word, clutter to filth, I don't know, <laughs> is the master bedroom. I wanted it to feel more calm and serene in there, so there's not a lot of stuff in there. It's a really massive bedroom though, and I ended up making the headboard out of uh, cabinets, like cabinets that go in the kitchen. I've been doing that a lot in my builds. I kind of want to make a video of like building tips and tricks that I've learned over the years just by watching other builders and building myself. Like, I feel like I have some good ones that you guys would be interested in. So let me know if you want a video like that. I would absolutely love to film one. But yeah, this is what, I'm ta this is what I was talking about with the headboard. <sighs> it looks pretty cool actually. Instead of just like a couple of nightstands, it's kind of like a more, um, it's just more interesting, more experimental way to do your bedroom. So this is the massive master suite that I was talking about. So you walk through the door and you've got the big bedroom and then you walk through more doors, you've got a massive walk-in closet. And then you walk in through an arch and you have a massive bathroom with a soaking tub, a big double shower head shower, a uh, double vanity. It's like its own apartment essentially. <laughs> but yeah, the house was big enough. So I thought, why not? Why not make the master bedroom like really, really nice? and just spoil whoever lives here. I did uh, move in a family to play test a couple things and I was like, wow, this is like, this is cute. I want to keep playing. <laughs> um, I do want to have like an off camera Sims family that I play and just like play without feeling the need to film or whatever, but I just haven't had time like, I just feel like if I'm playing Sims, I'm gonna film it or I'm gonna stream it because I want I want you guys to see. <laughs> I don't know. I just love it. I've always loved it. It's been great. I, I honestly can't believe this even happened to me. Like this channel, just everything that came along with it. I. It just blows my mind, honestly. Like I started this channel when I was in college and I was working to get my degree and I was like fully convinced that I would be a designer for Disney or a video gaming company, like something like that. And then I started doing this as a hobby, <laughs> making videos as a hobby and then like, you guys just supported me so much that I was able to do this for a living after I graduated. But I just think about the last couple of years and I'm just like, I can't believe I did all of that within the span of a couple of years. Like I got my bachelor's degree with honors at the same time as I hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel. And that was like during COVID as well. I also started streaming, like, like how, how can it get any better than that? <laughs> like, how can I feel any more accomplished? <laughs> I don't think I can, I think I peaked. <laughs> I think I peaked in the past couple of years. <laughs> oh no, I'm just kidding. Um, I have so many more things that I wanna do with my life. And so many more things I wanna accomplish and but yeah, it's just crazy to think about. Um, so we're working on the backyard here. We have this really beautiful overhang um, with a grill. Oh, do I delete? I think I might delete the Nectar Maker. I should have left it. Dang. Well, we have a basketball hoop for the kids. We've got a sandbox for the kids. And I also end up putting some swings. I was gonna use these swings, but then I found these swings, uh, they're CC, they're tree swings. It's like this massive, beautiful tree. And then there's just string, uh, swings hanging from the branch and it was it's just so cute and it gave the backyard like a lot of nice um shade so i end up switching that out um i also put the trash cans back here a little doggy toy box a bike um i should have put more skill building stuff in here now that i'm watching the speed build back but oh well if you want something you can add it there's plenty of space but yeah there's the tree i was talking about 
a little sandbox with bucket. I end up putting a sand snowman as well. <laughs> Just little decorations here and there, making it a little more like youthful, you know? <sighs> oh, but yeah, this pool, the border, the ladder, the lounger, everything about it is from the Ritzy Riviera, Ritzy Riviera, Riviera Retreat Pack. Why do I keep wanting to call it Ritzy? I don't know. But yeah, and then um, these loungers and these benches are CC. That bonfire came with the Riviera kit as well. There's some really good stuff in there for backyards. Big fan, big fan, but yeah, basically everything you see here is CC except for the grill. Oh, and those vertical planters, there's a skill. Yeah, that, that would be nice. I wanted to plant some stuff in there before I did the screenshots, but I ended up not. I just sectioned this off too with a little bit of curtains. Those curtains from, is that from the Modern Luxe kit? Uh, I can't tell, but they're the best. I use them all the time. I don't find myself using any other curtains, like not even CC ones. These ones are just so good. <laughs> But here's an overview of the backyard. It's cute. There's a kid area, pool area, barbecue area. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this, how this turned out. And then now we're working on the exterior landscape. I always do terrain paint. Always, always, always. It just makes it look so much more real. And we end up adding a bunch of trees, bushes, rose bushes, a pond, a wishing well. Uh, I even lined the driveway with rocks. I know, I know. That's how you know that I was committed to this build. Like, absolutely committed. Like, want to put a ring on it, committed. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I first like started tr trying to line it with like flower bushes, but it just looked too weird. It looked too uniform and like fake. So I ended up switching to these rocks. These rocks are great. Base game, baby. And then of course we gotta do tra train paint. Uh, this was a perfect little spot for a pond. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then of course you gotta like line the outside of the pond too to make it look a little more realistic and get rid of those harsh, harsh uh, pond lines. Um. But yeah, we're, we're coming up to the end of this build, guys. I, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me ramble about my life and ramble about this build. <sighs> I just love you guys so much. And uh, yeah, if you're new here, go ahead, subscribe, join the family. It would mean the world to me. And I will talk to you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be Legacy. Um, yeah, and then we've got some screenshots of the build for you, so I hope that you guys enjoy. I love you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye!